everybody. We're here at my house on my porch and it is the HGTV Handmade Mystery Challenge this week. I opened the challenge box and found these shoes. Um, there were no directions, there were no rules, it was just a pair of white canvas lace-up shoes. You know, there's so many possibilities that you could do with these shoes, but I kept coming back to a video I made last year uh, where I did Sharpie tie-dyed pillows. And I just kept thinking about how, like, maybe I could Sharpie tie-dye the shoes and then ultimately come up with a DIY galaxy print sneaker. So the first thing we're going to do is start saturating the canvas with our Sharpies. I'm going to start with purple. Now I decided to come outside to do this because even though Sharpies are non-toxic, they are really smelly and um, they will really stink up your house. So when you're doing your Sharpies, don't worry too much about getting Sharpie on the rubber because that should come off when we spray it with alcohol. And you really want to make sure that you're totally saturating the fabric with your Sharpie. If your color is really light like that, you're not going to have enough of the dye to bleed and spread into the other colors. So I'm going to keep the two colors of blue and the purple as my like main colors, and then I'm going to accent with some smaller pink blotches. Here's my like nerd alert moment. Um, I actually came up with this color scheme watching Big Hero 6 um, when they're in hyperspace. It's all like pinks and purples and blues. And it looks like cotton candy. And that was how I chose my color palette. So as you can see, I'm kind of leaving a, a small white border between the colors. And that's just kind of to give it some room to kind of like blend and meld and bleed into each other. I do think, however, I'm going to skip worrying about the tongue of the sneaker um, because I think a lot probably is going to bleed through and that will be, you know, pretty much covered up when you're wearing them anyway. I'm so curious what the other girls are doing to their shoes. All right, so I'm about done with this one. You know, you want to make sure that you kind of look around and go over any spots where the white might be peeking through just to make sure that you're totally covered. Okay. Now we're just going to do it all over again on the shoe. Our next step is to completely saturate the shoe with rubbing alcohol. You're going to count on using, you know, at least half of a bottle of rubbing alcohol. So make sure you have plenty on hand. Make sure you're on a protected surface because all that Sharpie is going to run down onto it. We're just going to spray, spray, spray. Now that's really soaked. It's going to take several hours to dry. So I went ahead and sprayed the other shoe so we could get to our next step, which is making it like the galaxy. All right, I rinsed my spray bottle out and now I'm going to pour in some bleach. This is kind of our chance to really get creative. And we're gonna be very sparing with the bleach because it kind of comes out you know, it takes a little while to really do its thing. So we're going to let that work for a few minutes. And it looks like the bleach is starting to do something. So you see now we've got a really cool, like, modeled effect going. So now our next layer is going to be some of our diluted dimensional fabric paint. Um, and we're just going to kind of add some of this. It's, it's not going to look great at first, but it's going to sink in and look spacey and cool. You have to trust me. And then our final step is to dot on some little stars with our dimensional fabric paint. This is just what I had on hand, but I think the dimensional fabric paint is actually the way to go because one, I really love this fine tip for making the little stars. And two, because this canvas is obviously so porous and really sucks up, you know, the alcohol and the bleach and the Sharpie and the paint, I wanted something that will definitely stand up and not soak into the paint. So take your dimensional fabric paint and just make some little stars. You can kind of have 
some bigger ones, some little ones. Don't overthink it. If you're using regular fabric paint that doesn't have this fine tip, you could use a toothpick to do this. All right, I'm just gonna let these dry and then we'll put the laces in. We have our two shoes, they're dried. All that's left is to add the laces. Now you could dye the, you know, the laces that it comes with, but I'm going to use some of this mint green leather cord instead. I recommend using the old laces so you know how long to make your new ones. All right, I think these bad boys are ready to go on my feet. I'm gonna put these on and I'll see you guys next week.